Here we are in Washington, D.C. at the Vicki Irvin's Extreme Women's Entrepreneur Event. My name is Lance London, President and CEO of the Carolina Kitchen. And I'm here today to share with these women just how I got started and also how to jumpstart their lives. Hey fellas. Yes sir. Y'all ready? Yes sir. Y'all ready? Yes sir. How ready? Real ready. How ready? Real ready. Well let's go. Well alright. Well let's go. Well alright. Well alright. His sense of community and how much he gives back. If you've ever been to his restaurant on Thanksgiving, he buses the less fortunate in from everywhere. He's doing something and giving back. And it's a rare thing to see that with someone so successful. So I'm very proud to introduce to you Mr. Lance London of Carolina Kitchen. How's it really feel? <laughs> That's it! I like it. My name is Lance London. I'm the president and CEO of Big City Foods, the Carolina Kitchen. It's a Southern cuisine restaurant, low country, if you will, where you get your chicken and much, much more. I learned how to cook when I was like seven or eight, but I knew when I got to college it was good. Then you say, hey, how you doing? Great, what's your name? Kim, I, I'm laying. I'll cook you dinner tonight. <laughs> that was like my second line. <laughs> and then dorms, I saw Ooda News in every woman's girl's room. Ooda's the news, Ooda's the news. Ooda. It should have called the dorm, Ooda's the news. After I came out with this concept, I said, you know what? I'm going to start me a business. But the first thing, I knew nothing about the restaurant business. Absolutely not. I cannot allow that to stop me from taking action. I went around to ask people who own restaurants, how do you get in the restaurant business? What do I do? How many times have you came up with an idea and you wanted to start it, but you did absolutely nothing about it? I took my sales team and we made a list. And we wrote, I wrote on that list, if a restaurant was to start, what type of restaurant would you want it to be? And every morning I gave $25 to the person who had got the most questionnaires filled out. I had over 10,000 questionnaires. As it came closer and closer to the time to me open the restaurant, I ran out of money. Because I was just making money as I was going along, I ran out. I got in there with my staff from upstairs and a few other people, I had one cook who worked at a restaurant and the rest was just all me. I didn't even do any training, I just did so much training in sales, I thought we'd get out there and I'd motivate our way through. And then the truck came with the perishables. I'm like $13,000 short. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I walked outside the restaurant, when I walked outside, a lady walked past that I had shown the restaurant to because I had paper in the window. I show, showed her the restaurant and gave her a tour and treated her real nice like I do to everybody. And you just catch her open tomorrow. I said, yes, ma'am. But it don't look like I'm going to be open tomorrow because he'll be here soon. I, I'm going to have to push it back. I got to get some more money. So she left. She left. About 45 minutes later, my secretary came to my office and knocked on. I said, this older lady is out here at the office. She wants to talk to you. And I said, bring her back. She brought her in and said, hey. And she had a paper bag. She said, look in it. And it was $13,000. She gave me 13,000. You understand? She gave me 13,000. And I was like, I can't take this, no. And then she slid it back, yeah, you can. I said, no, I can't. We did that for like five. No, 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 okay. I said, I'm gonna give it back to you. She said, you know what? I am so proud of you. And you were so nice to me. You didn't know me from nothing. You gave me a tour of your place. You look so proud. You had so much energy. And you have all these young people around here with all this energy and excitement. I am so proud of you. You can have the $13,000. I don't even want it back. I'm an old lady. I got plenty of money saved up. I just want to help somebody else. God will, God will repay me. God is going to pay me back. The food truck came back at 6 o'clock and he came back with a look in his face like, his brother ain't gonna have this money. <laughs> look man, I could be back at the warehouse, you got the money or what? I was like, BAM! <laughs> Give me my food! First lady comes in the door. I had one pan of macaroni and cheese, and I thought it was gonna last me that whole entire day. Lying down the street, scared the mess out of me. I was like, welcome, welcome, welcome! If I create a hundred millionaires, 
What am I? I hope I'm a billionaire. I'm not saying money is everything. God is everything. If God didn't want you to have a money, he wouldn't have created a Lamborghini Diablo. But you have to believe. The first time you walk, you fell down. The power of the mind is so incredible that you didn't understand failure, so you kept getting up. You can fool some of the people some of the time, but you can't fool success or God none of the time. If you truly believe in what it is you're trying to achieve, in time, who are you to try to fool or trip up a success guard to say, I should be here by now because I've been putting it in. You haven't been putting it in. How many sleepless nights have you had because you was working on your dreams? It takes a winner to be able to do what it takes to change their life. You say, sir, yes, sir, yes, ma'am, and call people by their last names. Does that make sense to everybody? I teach my people, if you're going to be successful, you have to start acting professional. It's not because I'm ego tripping, because you, not only will you use it in our business, but you're going to use it in the rest of your life, and it's going to help you in life. Don't say what and huh and all that. Call people by their last names. Does that make sense? Once, maybe twice in a lifetime, an opportunity comes along and can change your whole entire life. And if you're over 30 years of age, most likely the first opportunity has already surpassed you. But the million dollar question is, will you know it when you see it? God bless you all, and I'll see you at the top. The Carolina Kitchen is where you get your chicken. I'm Vicki Irvin. I'm here at my Extreme Women Entrepreneurs event, my fourth annual three-day conference. And Mr. Lance London was one of my esteemed guest speakers. He totally rocked the house, blew my ladies away. Such inspiration, great story of where he came from, how he got to be where he is right now. So many golden nuggets. And the main message, do not give up. Nobody is just handed everything. Stay in there and do things against all odds. If you really want it, you can get it. And we thank you, Mr. Lance London, for doing this for us. And it's my pleasure to be with all the incredible ladies here that know it doesn't matter where you're at, it matters where you can be. God bless you and all the ladies that came here for your wonderful event. Yes, thank you. something wonderful, empowering all these beautiful women from all over the country. And as you can see right now, we have this beautiful young lady right here, Miss Shantae Moore, the most talented singer in the country. In the entire universe! Amen. Okay, after I gotta say amen. We stay here tonight, we've been motivated, by a whole lot of motivational speakers from all over the country, and we've ate a lot of delicious food, cupcakes and candy, but that's okay, that's another story, but we had a great time, we learned a lot of information, and we got entertained by this beautiful young lady who flew in all the way from California to sing to these ladies and empower these ladies with her beautiful voice. Vicki Irvin, baby, Superwoman Lifestyle, let's do this, let's land that what, what, what? This has been an incredible, incredible event. Vicki Irvin totally outdid herself. You know what? Women came in from all over the country and they seemed so inspired. And hopefully I touch a few with my story with the Carolina Kitchen, how I got started and how they could jumpstart their life. You know what? I feel excited. They absolutely are static in here. I'm right now at one of the closing parties and the ladies look like they had so much fun. And Shantae Moore just turned the house out with a beautiful voice. If you missed this event, it doesn't matter. Vicki Urban has them every year. And you know what? You go online and you look her up. And you find out when she's having this incredible event again because, you know, women, you are so powerful. The power that you have inside of you, and it, it, it amazes me. You know, just watching this event, it, it's amazing. So if you're out there right now to share with you, once, maybe twice in a lifetime, an opportunity comes along and can change your whole entire life. If you're over 30 years of age, most likely the first opportunity has already surpassed you. But the million dollar question is, will you know it 
when you see it. God bless you all, and we'll see you at the top.